I was asked the question, is it possible to auto start and stop a ram pump? I thought it was a pretty good question. Uh, a few reasons why you might want to do that are, let's say you were directly watering a crop with the pump and you only wanted to, the pump to run for like two, three hours at a time, then you could uh, turn it on and turn it off and it would water for you. Or if you had a very low flow source that you filled, let's say a thousand gallon tank, and you knew you could only run a ram pump for 20 minutes or an hour or whatever it may be, then you would want to start and stop the pump for a certain amount of time. I have got the Orbit digital timer here. It allows you to set the time and the days and all that good stuff. And it basically just opens a valve between the two pieces here. Now, one thing to note, this is basically a half inch opening here on this garden hose timer. Uh, so would this work on the half inch pump? I hope so. Would this work on a one inch pump? Probably not because it's not going to pass enough water through this valve to allow that to happen. So I'm gonna hop down here to the intake and install this and we're gonna try it uh, up here and then we're gonna go down to the pump and try it down there as well. So let's hop to it. I have the ram pump turned off at the moment. That's why the bucket is overflowing so much here. So I'm just going to pull this out, hopefully. Okay. And then I need to take this piece off. And I want to install the timer. It says it's waterproof. We're going to find out. Now I'm predicting that there's going to be some air in this section after I just disconnected the drive pipe and that's going to mess up the pump. So I'm just going to turn this valve on and let the pump run for a while just to make sure we know that the flow rate in here is going to be sufficient to keep that pump going. So when that clicks on, I'll go check out the pump. Looks like the valve is not passing enough water to get this thing going. There's a screen inside of it that I'm going to remove and see if that improves the flow rate. Well, I determined that even with the screen removed from this uh, valve, there's not enough pressure going to the pump. So, what I'm going to do is remove it from here and take it down to the pump. That way, it will have all of this head pressure behind it and hopefully push through enough water to get it to work. So, let's go find out. I wasn't expecting the timer to work up there, but it was for a different reason. My thoughts were, what if a leak develops somewhere up top and all the water drains out of the drive pipe and then this clicks on? A surge of water will hit that check valve and close it and it won't reopen again. And so that was my thoughts on putting this up top. So now what I'd like to do is put this down below. That way it has uh, all the head pressure behind it to have a higher flow rate, hopefully. And also, it will allow the uh, valve to open uh, immediately once the uh, valve in here clicks on. So let's give it a try. Because the orbit timer reduces the flow rate of the water, I had to turn the check valve on the pump and turn the whole pump sideways to alter the amount of water that it takes to close that valve. The timer just turned off and closed the valve and the pump was working great. So I'm going to hit manual again and click this down to one minute, let it crank back up here and see if it'll start on its own. Okay, it's open. All right. Well, there you go. It is possible to auto start and stop a ram pump. Okay, this time I want the timer to turn off the pump. I'm going to give it about a minute sitting without any use and see if it'll start back. Okay, there we go. So in one minute, I'm gonna start this back and see if it will still work. It's been a minute. I'm gonna set the timer again for uh, another minute on here and let it go. I figure this is enough time to let any settling occur and let air get into the system if it's gonna do that. So, all right. Well, there you go. Now we know that it's going to work like this. There's no real back pressure. So I need to go ahead and get the uh, delivery pipe opened up. 
and I'm going to go ahead and get this thing primed. And once it's full of water here, it'll be interesting to see if this is going to continue to work even with the delivery pipe uh, open. I got the delivery pipe primed and the pump has been going now with the delivery pipe open for about a minute. So I'm going to go ahead and shut this off. Okay, now there is an issue that's going to happen. It was cycling and the valve closed open. So now, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> so this valve closed when that one closed and therefore it's going to be uh, interesting to see if it'll start back with this closed and so much pressure behind it. So let me turn this back to manual and run it for another minute and let's see if it's going to be able to open uh, or cycle after it's popped closed like this. Nothing. All right, so what happened was when this valve closed, this was in the cycle up position, so it had snapped closed. So all that pressure was behind it, not allowing it to reopen. So it's basically a 50-50% chance of it being closed or open during that uh, the time this shuts off. Okay, it just stopped again. This time the valve is open, so let's click this once again to manual. This will be my last run through here. Uh, it should start on its own. We'll see if it will. Okay, yes, yeah, so, well, yeah, there we go, okay. So it started on its own this time because the valve on the pump was uh, down whenever the timer stopped. So my thoughts on using a timer to auto start and stop a ram pump. It works for at least the uh, half inch model. Probably would also work for the 3 8 model that I built previously. But there are definitely some issues to consider. It's not gonna work for a bigger pump because at least not for this timer. If you found a timer with a one inch or one and a quarter valve, sure, give it a try. Probably gonna work. But is it gonna work every time? As we found out, no, it's not. If that valve snaps closed when the timer shuts off the water, it's gonna hold that position. And no matter how many times you turn on and off the drive pipe, it's still gonna have that check valve locked down. So it's got to be open like that for it to continue back again. All in all, I thought it was a pretty awesome test. Seemed to work out well. If you uh, have some comments on how to improve this design, write those in the comments down below. If you're looking to purchase a hydraulic ram pump, head over to my website, landahouse.com. I have four different sizes available. And as always, thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.